how to use the blur, sharpen and smudge tools in Photoshop CS6. Hi there, we are going to learn in this video tutorial about the three editing tools which are the blur, sharpen and smudge tools of Photoshop CS6. These are the three editing tools in which we don't apply paint on the image but they affect the colors which are already present in image. You'll find them here in single cell in three bars. Now just click on the blur icon. By the name you understand about its work. Click and hold the left mouse button and it will blur the area of the image where you move this tool. It can be used to repair the wrinkles or softens the desired areas in the image. You can also use it when you have little noisy image. It will blend the noise but it can only be used to eliminate. It can also be used to give photographic effect like shallow depth of field or in common language blur background. Let us see an example of it. Here in this image, you can see wrinkles on her face. I just select the blur tool and move my brush on wrinkles and get smooth skins. Don't use blood tool on the areas like lips, nose and eyes to prevent the depth of pink. In option bar, you will find brush preset. Pick a brush for preset just the size you need and hardness from here. Another option is strength. It is used to define the intensity of power of tool. Sharpen tool. Another option from this group is sharpen tool. Sometimes we have little blurry image or area in that image we want it to be sharpened. At that time, we need this tool to give some sharpness too, but it has its limit. Overuse will damage the picture, although you always have undo to go back. In this image, you can see it is little blurry. A pic can be checked with its eye and if you notice her eyes they are not properly focused. So in this minor issues you can use sharpen tool. Here I use sharpen tool on her eyes, nose, lips and ears. These are some focus points which create depth in our image. Here is the tip. With this tool, there will not be much success with the mobile or low light captures as it will come up with red, blue and green pixels all over the area where you apply it.
smudge tool. This is the last tool of this group and this tutorial. But I must say it is very useful and interesting tool. It can be listed in retouching and editing tools and again widely used in digital painting. It can be used for mixing up two colors or shades or you can use it to repair some image part with mixing it up with nearby pixels. It's working like a simple brush. It fly the pixels in a direction where you drag it. In option bar, you can see strength option. High in number mean more power and effect of smudge tool. Use it and be familiar with this much tool and it will help you with many situations. We end up with this tutorial and hopefully you got to learn about the three tools. Thank you.